Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3. Welcome back in 1881 with our Mexican Republic under our current Chancellor and President, of course, Benito Juarez, who is already 75 years old, but he, um, yeah, he's looking back to a astonishing political career he's managed after he came to power to reform mexico tremendously we've had a lot of huge changes especially um yeah basically multiculturalism is obviously one of the first to name um yeah, in, since he's sapotec uh, in, in relation to him however also of course um the total separation of church and state, the public health insurance, the public um, schools and so forth. A lot of changes have been made and of course this doesn't come um, very yeah, unanswered by the more reactionary forces. So the Catholic Church is again pretty empty and working on this Revolucionito. Uh, we are at here 30% right now. Yeah, six weeks, then another 12. It's a very high support. Yeah, we have to do something about that. Um, however, we can't Unfortunately, we can't um, moderate him. Uh, we could moderate him, but it wouldn't change a lot. We cannot somehow pacify the um, Catholic Church at the moment. I'm actually not sure why this. Maybe we're doing it already. Um, they were pretty angry anyways. Understandable. Um, and I do still hope that we might just overcome this because we definitely don't want to turn back to... National supremacy since yeah, um, I don't know if any migration is just going on right now. Do we have one right now? We have Sicilian South. Yeah, South Italian people coming from Sicily But if you want to have a look at the population, which I always find highly interesting Yeah, we do have 650,000 Spanish that came in. I mean this 300,000 North Germans Aborigine, which is the weirdest one 260,000 Danes North Italians Swahili, uh, Galician, yeah, there's people coming from all over the world, uh, world to populize uh, Mexico and I don't want to stop them. Well, I mean, the multiculturalism was in first place meant, of course, for our indigenous people, but um, yeah, we're taking, of course, all the immigrants we can get since uh, yeah, we have space and uh, possibilities to yeah, feed them, hopefully. <laughs> Um, yeah, before that, um, it's, we can actually have a look. Can we annex Costa Rica? I don't want to risk a diplomatic play right now. Let's quickly have a look, maybe together, um, if there's anything that can be done to placate the church for the moment to uh, with stop this revolution moment. No home affairs. Yeah, guaranteed liberties is for sure something I would love to have, but nothing to really since to really help out with the church since they hate it even more. I mean, the rest would be kind of happy about it and would increase our migration. So something I would like to have, actually. This is sometimes sometimes always a little bit cheap, in my opinion. But let's see if there anything anything can be done. Yeah, well, it doesn't, it doesn't appeal at all to the... It doesn't, the, the church doesn't care about it, so nothing to be done here because we don't have colonists going on. I don't care, to be honest, if I have Pacific or Africa. I don't want to get Mexican-African colonies. It would be weird. Yeah. Let's have a look at the taxation situation. I mean, surely this would be something. Oh, yeah, of course, every more just uh, is also able. The problem is that we basically don't want to turn back things that um, we fought for so hard, right? Yeah, everything and, and where we want to make progress and where we can change things, the church is absolutely against it. Didn't know we have migration controls, actually. Um, sure, I mean, it could... We just got them through, it's not that long time ago, and I just like pretend that we would be in introducing charity hospitals for the moment. Let's have a quick look. I mean, we can... Would it pl fully... Uh, plus 15, that's quite... It would at least de-radicalize them, depending on what else is going on right now. Um, but to be honest, I don't want to use this cheesy... I don't know cheesy, it's politics, so I think it's like distraction and so forth, it's always part of the game or oh, i will not immediately use it let's have a quick let's just observe and uh, get actually in and see what the events will bring for us and so forth and then we can see where we're going with that i feel like this is the best approach in the meantime let's have a quick look of our yeah this is the aftermath of the war uh, we still have a little bit of a military build up but i think we're gonna finish these barracks so because yeah we saw how 
tremendously dependent we are on the foreign powers and then they just left us alone so I'm happy to increase our military a little bit further and once again I'm not intending to be um, nice by the way that the city the landowners already get happier yeah, I'm, I'm, and once again, I'm not intending to do anything like conquering back everything in the Americas. Trying is like still Victoria Three is, in my opinion, mainly a eco game, economical simulator, political simulator. But here, yeah, we see like these candles that probably indicate our revolution. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not about painting the map in the Mexico, conquering the world of Mexico. That's that's for me, it's no fun to be honest. So. That other people can do that. But let's continue with our revolution and focus on that. The People's Wealth. A group of revolutionaries have carried out a robbery of a Mexican state bank in Durango. A significant amount of money has been stolen and redirected into the revolutionaries' coffers. A shot rang out. The marble ceiling was marred with a new crack. The screams of the bank officials accompanied dust and splinters hitting the floor. In the name of the Revolutionary Executive Committee, they declare everyone under arrest. Hands up, otherwise everyone will be killed. Mm. I think this is just two for two years, 2,500 is easily doable for us right now, so let's go with that. I mean, we do. We are a little bit in the top of uh, the plus. I could also think about, boah, about a tax cut, but tax cuts are damn expensive. I'm really thinking about some, some way we could... Uh, Make use of our points plus like pacify the, the church, but I don't see one really right away. Hmm. We have 110. What does this Costa Rica? I was thinking this was Persia, but okay, this is Costa Rica apparently with our flag. Are they are they communists? Is there, isn't there a red star? Maybe something else. It's probably the star of Costa Rica. But I, I, I think I talked about this before. If you're from Costa Rica, let me know. I thought they have, the flag was more like blue, red, white. Maybe the star. So maybe this is just because they are a puppet and they're Mexican, Mexicanized. Who knows? Yeah, the last states down here in uh, Central America are not ready um, to... Don't want to be accepted as part of the Mexican Republic yet. But we will get there. We will get there. The Infernal Machine. Are we getting to the next already? Who? But it should, see, the uh, I think the radicalism has sunk somehow, or like the. Oh, at the same time, the rural folk got really angry. Damn it! There's something about those guys. Whew. Uh But the progress has gone down to plus four point two percent. So I still hope, and it turned down to high instead of very high. So this is. Uh, I hope I can still um, pacify them somehow. Anyhow, an attempt on the life of the president was killed. Has killed many, but spared our ruler. What? A complex device itself damaged in the attack is the only trace of the revolutionary left at the side of the attack. What did they do? It's hard to say what happened. I heard a slow explosion like a ragged platoon fire. There was smoke and chaos all around. The people to my right and left were cut down where they stood, but it was untouched. I looked off towards the president and there was just a suddenly a bloody void surrounding him. This is what the Catholic Church is trying to do over here? Is the Pope on board with that? Mr. Maria Diaz, you're using these methods? Are you sure? Well, he's a traditional commander. <laughs> it doesn't really fit here. Well, limit Benito Juarez's public appearances. I mean, he's still loved, or the crime is obviously the fault of Felipe Tovia. Why him? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a gamble. I mean, the intelligentsia. Uh, Felipe Tuvia. He's from the wealth war. He's just the agitator. He can absolutely lose popularity. I don't care too much, to be honest. He's <laughs> interesting positivist. This is like the <laughs> classical phase of modernity and industrialization. <laughs> um, I still go for the gamble over here. Let's really hope ten minus 10% and not plus 10%. Uh, seems like the middle option where he just lo uh, lost a little bit of popularity, but this is quite fair to be honest. With the rural folk, I'm really surprised to be honest, in the end. And yeah, once again, I could make the concessions. Council Republic, Juan Bautista, um, Inocosta, 
Council Republic, is he a communist or something? Vanguardist, okay. Yeah. Yeah, modernity is coming in terms of social democratics, uh, social democracy and uh, communism slowly coming, so um, yeah. Even if the event was passed a long time ago, I think. By the way, talking about bigger political movements and we are slowly getting there. We are slowly getting there. I'm so proud. <laughs> Less than 10 years, guys, right? It was um, 12 per year. So, yeah, 10 years, 120. Uh, <laughs> only 9 years left and we can't overcome the Caudillo situation. That's, that's a big one. I was fighting hard for this. Well, it's here, yeah, 3%. This can, like, if it staggers like that, I'm, I'm really fine with that. Yeah, the revolution is sinking already. That's nice. I feel like maybe through the war and so forth, our standard of living has decreased. But also, to be honest, through migration, I assume, because... And we lost Nevada that had a huge, really, really... Arthur Walker, like red hair. I thought it was Irish, but no, Dixie. Um... <laughs> I think that just basically Nevada had a really, really high um, standard of living. Now it doesn't look like maybe there was further migration, but because of the gold mines and so forth. But probably also since yeah, the war and the new incoming migrant waves, just the, as you see, the, the population has grown a lot recently. So I think that just washes down the average um, standard of living a bit. The procession of provocations. Dissidents in Nicaragua have announced plans for a major march around government offices in the near future. While they profess peaceful intentions and claim everyone will unarmed, the march itself will obviously serve as a rallying point for those unhappy with the government. That damn parade and that infernal music. I can't even see them from here, but I can hear them loud and clear. Yeah, we had this before, right? How important is Nicaragua right now? And sorry if I don't hit it right away. That was that one. Sorry. Um, they're already quite radical, right? I mean, they're kind of a hotspot of radicalism, to be honest, down here. Why? They're fully accepted, right? Where's it coming from? But there's also not so many people. But it's also not so important. So once again, are we going for the hard gamble for the for the five percent? Come on, guys! All or not, uh, yeah, we're still under seventy-five percent. So let's go for the fifty-fifty chance. Yoo And we got the minus ten percent instead of plus ten percent. We're nice, but the progress has increased again. Maybe I have to make myself more familiar with also the, the uh, revolution mechanics. Maybe you guys know if there's like a threshold once you cross the 50%, it slows down a bit or something like this. I'm not sure. Well, it is it is what it is right now. Our uh, construction program for the um, military has been finalized. I'm just surprised actually that we're now not getting, since the investment pool is building up, that we're not using it for, since we're building... Uh, tooling workshops. And maybe it's... I has to adjust probably over time. I'm not going to... What is happening? I'm not going to rush things right now. Oh, fertility... Uh, the, the fertilizer. Not fertility. We need some of those. Yeah, let's... Are they coming up next anyways? Uh, did we plan to build more of those? Yeah, very centralized... Oh no, this is where the, Okay, we're at the end of our program over here. Do we have anywhere sulfur? No, it's California. But in the end, it's like with the agriculture, I would, uh, it's also kind of nice to have... I would say some cult um, it, everywhere in the end. At least where we do agriculture, it would be smart to have also some fertilizers around. At least some baseline production. It's my new approach that works kind of nicely, but... Oh, there's no workers down there. Chihuahua, you too. And Yucatan, come on. Um, And they will be prioritized, but... I'll be definitely finishing the... Mexican constructions in this... Yeah, here in Mexico City first. 
right. Uh, what? What? Had okay, 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 okay. The the revolution has changed. <laughs> we are, uh, the revolution is back to zero percent, but we now have the trade unions, not the trade unions, but the rural folk, uh, but under leadership of a socialist, a social avant-gardist, trying to act a council republic. But I feel like there's no indicators that we will go this way right now. And a Council Republic, I've never played as one, to be honest, as in, in Victoria. I should, I should try it out. So, um, to be honest, uh, the, first of all, the first revolution is over. Now we're facing another one. But I feel like this should be handleable. Can we just expel him, by the way? Man, we have freedom of speech, right? Uh, where are we at? We're at here. Uh, we cannot stir national agitation. Or oh, you can just support this entirely. Um, no, sir, you're gonna not get any support. Well, let's see where this is going. <laughs> a fort in a sea of anger. Mobs have surrounded an arsenal in Kalisco, threatening to seize the arms and munitions stored within. While the guards are staving off attacks for now, if no relief is sent, then the arsenal will fall to insurrectionists. I couldn't sleep last night. The commander refuses to accept terms and firing continues from both the arsenal and the emplacements that now surround it. After one loud blast, I sprung out of bed and went into my knees to pray prayers I've never prayed before. Um, the relief column could escalate tensions a little, but, ne but it's necessary. Um, and well, we have no progress right now, so they don't have to go for Nicalisco. Is no, I, where we have tooling and so forth. I don't want to radicalize them, to be honest. We have kind of a lot of population also. The mob could be emboldened by surrender, but we need to take that risk. Um, yes, we're going to go for that. Oh, we actually had a lucky variant where we lost some progress, which uh, hasn't been made yet. Yeah, the... Like again, I'm, I'm and maybe I need to look up or you guys let me know down in the comments more about the revolution mechanics in general since it was there. Now it's been replaced by an extreme one. Um, and by the way, where's my investment pool not being fully utilized? Well, we, sh we shall see. Um, and now we're back at zero percent of a completely different topic still. Hold by the rules, but oh yeah, he's an anarchist actually. Do they support a? They should, right? Council Republic. That's true. An anarchist I can't moderate. Yeah, that's too too extreme of a character. That's that. And once again, we can always do the concessions to landowners, but um, since it hasn't been ad adjusted yet in the current version. I'm, I feel I find it a little bit cheesy and cheaty, so I only want to do it in the worst situations to save the game in the end, to be honest. However, here we go. Script, scrap, rubbish, Jalisco. Protesting the payment of wages in the form of scripts, credit only exchangeable at a company store, workers of the major logging camps in Jalisco have commenced in a riot of torching the controversial store and marching on the company's main offices, demanding the institution of cash wages. You load 16 tons, what do you get? And are they older and deeper in that? St. Peter, don't you call me horse? I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let us not fan the flames. There's merit to the workers' demands. Yes, I think we can do that. Especially here, political movement radicalism is helpful right now since we are back in the extreme, which... Yeah, speeds up the process here quite hefty, and yeah, we can get industrialists. Of course, I would like to have them in a better position, but yeah, we can do that. See, now it's just very high, and we're having a little bit less growth, yeah. And once again, we're not planning to do a, a, here an industrial juggernaut. We're doing, in the end, our target for Mexico was the Parenthesis, um, happy-go-lucky, <laughs> hippie, <laughs> social state where people have a good life and freedoms. That's what I was hoping. And this is a major one. 
Let's take a moment to, uh, yeah, for grieving. And therefore I should also pause because the time of Benito Juarez is over. And we have a new one, Valeriano Caserta. We're going to have a look at him uh, once again. But yeah, Benito Juarez, um, for me, once again, <laughs> I, I kind of found out about him uh, when I prepared for this Let's Play in Mexican history. And yes, of course, he's um, one of the most outstanding characters of the Mexican history. And probably up to this day, yeah, one of the fathers of the country, I assume. Let me know what you think of him if you're Mexican and so forth. But I'm pretty sure he plays a central role in um, for every Mexican. Also, for this reason, and especially, of course, for his huge success that has been came made with him, um, I'm really, really happy we got him in government in the end, uh, later than expected, but we got him and he really reformed the country majorly, which is fantastic. And um, let's, let's think about it in a positive way, we will not forget. However, there's a new one upcoming and it is Valeriano Caserta. He is a protectionist, uh-huh. He's not a historical character, nope. We haven't heard of him before, I think. He's 62, protectionist, intelligentsia, honorable. So, oh, popularity is, is quite high. He's a master bureaucrat, okay. Well, I think we had a little less before. An inspiration, an orator, and, impo and imposing. Okay, uh, that's probably... Infamy decay, yeah, okay, this is a... Yeah, well, it's okay. Can we actually immediately start doing some propaganda for him, or do we need? Uh, we have protected speech. God damn, protected speech. <laughs> Why don't I do some propaganda? Um, all right, there we go. It, in the end, it seems like it hit us a little bit in terms of authority. Um, yes, since probably Juarez was very, very, very famous and also um, had these buffs that helped him out over here and the party front there can't be anything done right now we're lacking authority so let's see what we can do to yeah and to to make this a little bit smoother um the resource industry is probably quite helpful by the way i'm really why don't you take the 300k in the investment pool right now guys Um, what I wanted to do, yeah, see where we can save up some authority. Road maintenance, is this still a thing? Maybe. Resource in Yucatan, yeah, this can't be so important right now. Okay, Yucatan is such a secondary state to us, <laughs> sadly. I mean, we have tons of logging camps, I must say that, but still. Let's cancel this. And Mexico City, do we need the, um, let's have a quick look on the city where we... On the infrastructure situation, no, we don't need the road maintenance over here, definitely not. So let's save up some of those. Helping us also a little bit with the radicals. Um, yeah, because I think in vanilla, I haven't played vanilla in so long. Um, I think you have basically just the debuff if you cross it to the, to the negative. But um, here with Max's version, I really like that if you have excess authority, you get, as you see, radicals from standard of living decrease and loyalists and enactment time a little bit down. So it's actually kind of smart sometimes to keep some of this. Questionable practices. Um, in the meantime, this revolution is not a... Uh, it's, back, it's back at extreme. Oh no. Released patients from the Mexico City Asylum have steadily denounced the practices involved in their, their supposedly medical treatments. Mistreatment of the sick, withholding of personal letters and disappropriate, uh, disproportionate punishments were among the charges. They would make us sit in a chair for hours, if not the whole day, in silence. We couldn't talk to any other patients, not even read a book. They would only excuse us to go to the restroom if we were lucky. Otherwise it was just a rusty chamber pot. No food, no water. If we were not sick when we were admitted, we would uh, be within just a few weeks. Yeah, 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 that's expensive, but there we are in the minus, but I kind of want to do this because I would love to get our standard of living further up also. Ten percent minus, we do have an income of... Is 3,500, so 350. We can afford that. Unlike 9,000 at the moment, I'm not so... I don't know where this... I guess, yeah, sure, we build up our military. This, yeah, as you see, uh, the, the, the 
there is a lot of increase of our expenses. Yeah, this would be lovely, but sorry guys, it's, I can't. Re I feel like I don't want to afford it right now, so I'm rather going with this options. Yeah, uh, this option which will help us also a bit. And the street side standoff. Troops in Nica Nicaragua once again have reported more and more confrontations with belligerent mobs. Fighting will likely break out soon even if nothing is ordered. There's only two ways to control the situation. Either pull the troops back or tell them to engage. The soldier shuffled nervously where he stood, shifting the weight of his gun back and forth as he stared at the crowd steering far too close by. He thought he recognized some of those faces, or he would have, if they weren't twisted in utter loathing of him in his uniform. What was he even doing? Was he standing with the right people over here? A withdraw or our men are professionals, they can't maintain discipline where they are. Yes, I want to uh, rather I keep them here, no withdrawal, and yet I want rather the 60 seconds chance for uh, minus 5%, and yeah, it came in nice. Oh, the landowners are happy, happy and back among the happy, that's good. I mean, they're probably dropping out soon, I'm not sure they're really low right now, but giving us some, ex providing us some extra in influence and some lower turmoil, um, boah, but the entire country is basically caught up by this. Since when is everybody so eager to get Council Republic? <sighs> like just for fun, let's have a look what would actually happen if we would do that. Radicalized industrialists, sure. Radicalized armed forces, radicalized intelligentsia, radicalized church, petit bourgeois, yep. And the landowners, basically everyone else then the... No, we cannot do that. It, it would be possible to pass it, but nah. Ooh, do we have uh, okay do we an interesting idea would be now since this is carried out by the rural folk to be honest to have a look um yeah let's read this first and then we, we can look have a look again at the the laws if we can do th something to blockade the rural folk a bit so this revolution stops um well we can also just not always follow every wish of some revolutionary group but i don't want to fight out this is in a civil war let's see free assistance with discontent among the rural folk on, on, on the rise, uninformed armed forces members in Nicaragua have deformed attachments to directly repress the revolutionaries. The newspaper rested on the table like a dead bird, one of its corners soaked through the swift spilled coffee. The masses must not sit quiet for one minute longer, said the bold black ink on the front page. All principled worker people must show their support today. Its reader rose from this chair and turned to face the door before reaching for the homemade truncheon that rested beside the paper. Plausible deniability is appreciated in his difficult times. Mm -hmm. No, this is this is really bad. I mean, yeah, ten percent per for for plus five percent. Nah, probably not. Direct them to show Juan Bautista Hinojosa the error of his ways. State para against the yeah, it's our president, right? No, it's him. Ah. It's the state's power alone to wield the stick against its foes. I, I mean... Civil demonstrations, yes. That's what we want, that's lovely. We don't mind, to, the armed forces shouldn't be that powerful anyways, that's amazing. And now we're gonna have a look at the laws again. I think now we're gonna check out, wasn't there something that... The resettlement, no, they, 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 that's the problem. The rural folk just like the frontier colonization, right? Mm. That's not a cheesy trick we can abuse. Of course they hate the guaranteed liberties. Why would you need them on the can in the countryside, right? Mm, the elected bureaucrats, that is an interesting one. Since basically everybody apart from the industrialists like it. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how Mexico is doing it these days. For me, yeah, it's just like I, I, it's, I think there's it's they're not really granular, you know. I always picture like federal republics, like um, the U.S. or also Germany, where we have strong states. With also, I always picture an elected bureaucrats basically for 
more or less centralized and more few, uh, federal states. So, so I guess Mexico with a lot of 32 states, <laughs> don't get me wrong, <laughs> guys, uh, let me know, is a good example for something like this, maybe. The problem is, once again, what we, the only thing we can do basically right now if we do that. I mean, we can try it out just to start it and see how people would react. That the industrialists would be radicalized. We could, of course, give concessions to them. And once again, we are at the same problem that I was describing before that I find it a little bit cheesy to do that. Um, however, it would be doable. I'm pretty sure they would not like to go to interventionism in the rule fork, right? <laughs> hey, they wouldn't even mind. That's surprising, okay. Anything else? Otherwise, we will, I will have a go with that one. Um, and we checked it before, but I just want to make sure. Because this is not a real, this is not a revolution I want to see, to be honest. It endorsed this one. Pri private health insurance, yeah, but... We don't want to get back to private health right in schools. Private schools, even the church would like like that one. Okay, this one would be only for the trade unions to be minus thirty. Holy moly! But we wanted, we were so proud of our public schools, right? Okay, guys, we're gonna give it a go with the elected bureaucrats first and see how everybody reacts. Boom, industrial this really in a, in a but for the for first time in a long time the Catholic Church is halfway happy. And oh, yeah, this is of course sad. But guys, we are actually not that hard for us right now too. So let's see if the now the support for the revolution is really low. But of course, there we go. And and I, I kind of knew it because not this one, but yeah. Of course, now they want something else. How is this support? Whew. Yeah, we have to balance it out. Probably gonna stop this at some point again. Let me know what you think because I think this is already getting a little bit of a long episode. Let me know in the comments how would you uh, act, react to this. By the way, can we? Oh, we can. Let's quickly annex um, Costa Rica before we end this episode. There we go. And also incorporate them as a state since it was possible. And now we don't have to wonder about the communist star in there anymore. <laughs> Let me down, know, uh, know down in the comments what you think. How would you treat this um, situation we have? Do um, you think uh, elected bureaucrats is a way? Would you think I'm a cheesy cheater if I go for the concessions here to the industrialists to bring them up to zero basic and stop any problems? I don't know. We shall see. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you haven't yet, it would be fantastic if you leave me a like and subscription to support this channel since it costs you nothing and means a lot to me. Thank you very much for your support. And most importantly, see you next time in the next episode with our troublesome Mexican Republic by your strategy wolf.